in that one. Um, do you mind if I just, do you mind if I, um, Right in that chair. So that can, can we um, finalize that one other interview real quick? Sure, sure, sure. One minute. Mr. Watts? Yep. All right. We're right back. Do you need anything to drink? That's water. Okay, I'll get some water. Okay. Sure.
she'd come down from North Carolina for six weeks and stay in some of us, some of her parents, they put their birth parents live about 30, 40 miles from us. Also, they're both there. Were they originally living in North Carolina before they moved out here to Colorado? You come up. Uh, I'm talking about Chris and uh, oh, how do you say Shan? 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 Chris left home at 18 when he graduated. He moved to Charlotte. He went to NASCAR Tech and he worked at Fort Davis Hill for a few years. And then him and Stan moved in together out there. And then they decided to move to Colorado, not now. Because she had friends up here for some reason. I don't want to go all out here, but anyway, that's what they did. And, and then, how old were they within that? Or how long ago was that? Uh, seven, 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 eight years ago. Seven or eight? Mm-hmm. And how old is Chris? I'm not even sure the age is. His birthday is May 16th or 17th. My anniversary is one day, his birthday is May 16th or 17th. It's 1989. It's 39, 33. So they met about seven or eight years ago in North Carolina and and they moved out. Do you remember when when they moved out here? That I couldn't tell you. I don't know exactly when that was. Just look, just a background information, but okay. So we went out here in Colorado. Did they have children while they were in North Carolina, or did they have them once there? Here, once there, both of them. It was these two children, right? and then one fell on CC, and one on the way. Okay. All right. Fell on CC. So the, um, when was that visit? Uh, you said you thought she was in North Carolina for about six weeks visiting her family. That was. Okay, they flew. I can help you with that. Uh, let's see. Well, it was a little bit after that. I'm trying to remember all the dates I'm still talking about. But they just flew back because she went to the bail thing in Arizona. And they got lost. Do you think it's July? Uh, uh, this weekend. I wonder what the day's date is doing. Today is the 15th. I'm sorry, I got all sorts of stuff that much on. But she went to a. What was it? But they, they flew back here. You know, April 9th, I think. Oh, so this this was recently. They just got back from, from North Carolina? Yeah. So and it was the whole family? Yeah, but she, she stayed out there six weeks. Chris came out for last week. Okay. We come down there, which I got to see him one time when he was down there, because she refused to let us see the kids. Yeah. Because her and my wife had a fallen out. Okay. Twice. Okay. Okay. So, so, so for this week they were both there. Yeah. That yeah. Because yeah, yeah, so they, 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 well, we were, we went on vacation. We, me and my son-in-law and my other two grandkids and my wife still went to Myrtle Beach, and they were in North Myrtle Beach at the same time, and it was like five miles apart. We were still doing some grandkids. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so I definitely want to hear about that and some of the stuff that's been going on. Yeah. Uh, but you think they came back to Colorado the night to the 10th? Uh, so summer there, because she flew out and went to Arizona for a little Nobel conference thing, a little getaway thing they go on, which I'm not mistaken. She went out Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and flew back Monday morning, early in the morning. Like on the in the morning or night. Came back here on Monday. Yeah. Okay. So she went from North Carolina to the conference. In no, she. They came back here first. Oh, they came back here yeah. first. Yeah. Oh, uh, and yeah, she turned around. Yeah, so she, she turned around. Here. She went back here one, maybe two days. On one day, I think it was, and she turned around for about. Okay. I think I might be able to. Okay. My phone went dead again. Oh, that conference you went to was that in Las Vegas? Well, it was in Arizona and oh, Arizona. Um, I can pull up some of her stuff still on her Facebook, some I can't. I think I'm on this block. I'm sorry, the poor wife found it. Oh, and I forgot to ask, but they, the girls were with them, right? When they visited in uh, North Carolina? The other yeah, two that they were with. Oh, okay. Thank you, Trio.
one of the fuzzy citizens. She had the dates on here, whatever, on her Facebook thing. But that's okay. That's okay. But that they were, she was down for six weeks. Mm -hmm. And Chris came down the last week, which was, I can't give the exact dates on it.
before he got to the old old business, she she got married and started selling cars too. She's the one they do. Yeah. And she's a salesperson, believe me. Mm -hmm. See, that's what her that's what her knack is. And is that what she does for uh, Brian? Is it, she's a salesperson. She's a she has a pyramid type thing. She has all these different people under her. Mm -hmm. And what they sell, she makes, you know, money on what they sell. Gotcha. So it's a team a team thing. And I think she was like 34 or 35 at the time. Oh, so she's pretty good at it. And I didn't actually ask her to But I told her, I said, if you don't do the side sale or whatever, she's coming back to North Carolina, or if you want to stay out here, and he said that. But the uh, child support on that place, so I have to stay out there. So I can make that kind of money back there. Because it makes good money. That's all. You know, mommy asked him, what does she make? He said, she makes pretty much what I make. So make money. And I think somebody told me there. So he's a supervisor for the he's, and he's coming up for a former job. Yeah. Former job. And for yeah. and a Yeah. Okay. That's what they're looking at him for now. Yeah. I know the oil money plays pretty well. Yeah. Do you know about what that is? What kind of salary? I don't know. I never asked. I never asked. I don't want to get into that. I don't know. Yeah. No, I sure. And, and I just, I'm curious because if she makes what, what he makes, yeah. I'm mean, not. She just started doing this last few years. Now I watched him make before. Mm -hmm. But uh, she's, she's making good money now. Do you know? Um, did they have any financial problems? Was there any kind of, uh, you know, was that was that part of the marital mm -hmm. um, strife? Not that I know of. But he said he don't see a reason they have to live in that big ass house they live in because they don't need that kind. You know, as far as anything. Mm -hmm. It was them two and two kids. I didn't need them more than three hundred thousand on the house. Yeah. Sitting out there. He said sometimes we'll scroll, you know, making sure you make that money, make that free house like that. You know, it's part of life, everybody gives to that. Sure, sure. But as far as you know, now you nothing major. No, was not, 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 he never called last week for my money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he he was say they'd be like, Hey, I'm in real bad debt. Well, he's in real bad debt. Sometimes when the like when the CeCe's was born, and they even paid for my wife's flight to come out here, you know, you know, you know when she was being born and everything, they got after kids, and when they go on some of their Lavelle trips, sometimes he went, sometimes he, he didn't, you know, it been a lot of time to get off. My wife would come out here, and well, I'd come out here too, and watch the kids while she was gone. Mm -hmm. Some normal, normal, you know, they would just normal, normal, yeah, normal yeah, bills and stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm going to tell you another little story. I was telling another guy when uh, she came down for her visit in that six weeks, she was down there. Everybody said she was staying like three or four days with us, three or four days with her parents. Mm -hmm. And every time, like, well, I go back from the very beginning when we first met her, I had something that was a little different mm -hmm. about her. See, uh, I was telling him they would come down from the other grandkids' birthday party from Charlotte. And they had bought these Power Ranger costumes to wear. That's what was in back then. That was years ago. And they forgot the head, the head mask, the mask, the head thing. To go and that morning at the party, she sent them all the way back to Charlotte. The three hour drive from where we were at, back to Charlotte, three hours back to get the mask. And just to prove my point, more or less, whatever. Anyway, that was just something myself from that for us. And the mask thing, the word 15, 20 minutes, they don't take the same thing off anyway, they start paying with kids, and then what is a big deal? But the, uh, when she came down this last time, uh, she had stayed like three or four days with us. Like, first three or four days, everything's fine. I mean, we can get long view, have a good time. I mean, I can show you a video here of the, the grandkids with my wife and stuff.
and that was the day that she was going to go back to Southern Pines. And the wife said, well, I got to get by here now. I go to get the flowers from my neighbor. And she came by where I work at. I work at a sewer dealership. I saw the signs of paper on the car I was getting at. And she was by. She said, I'm going to take you back down. I'll we'll wait this afternoon. So I'll just wait. She said, we're going to be gone. It's going to take a while to go. Said, okay, no problem. So she went and got her done, went and got flyers, came by my place, and realized she left her phone at the hairdresser. So my daughter, she's in her hair she went and got up and she came back to my work and lived up in the finance office side of the paperwork. She then texted me and said, Where in the hell is Sidney at? So I've been alone here with you for five hours. I said, They're your kids. I went and I bought a trampoline for them, a swimming pool, this little boat pool and stuff, and got another TV for another room with a bigger TV so they could watch and everything. And I said, well, she had a lot of tears in the finance office. That's how bad she jumped in my wife's ex. And I said, no person for that. And then, and then she said, I'll be here in a minute. That's all right, I got my dad to come again. She's getting here, we just want to get car seats. I, I'll run his truck. And, uh, so she left mad that day. And Chris called was that night. And he said, he said, my wife asked him, said, what, what do you want to do? Said, some reason I came out and get along with her. He said, Mom, just, just let it go. And I said, that's just the way she is sometimes. Just let it go. I said, okay, I'll do it for you. All right, second time she came over. Oh, okay, everybody. We, we, we had fun. They don't mind. They gave me some pictures of them in the pool. My other two grandkids come over. Uh, it's Bella and Cece, that's Shanann's kids. They're four and three. My other two grandkids are 10 and 7. The top of them. That's their tattoo right there. The double D's. I was going to give on this side for anything when I finished having kids in my But uh, they come over and then CC's got a nut allergy, which we knew about. And my wife had bought some ice cream, because actually one of them had nuts in it, but we had it up on the upper shelf, which CC couldn't get to it, she got in the freezer. And my other granddaughter, Dylan, had a little single serving ice cream cup, a little small thing, just like you buy at Walmart or whatever. And was in the bottom room, and she went there and got one. Oh, granddaughter. Oh, my and CC got up and said, she couldn't have one. And so he said, well, honey, you can't have that. That one's might have that, so you can't, we haven't checked it yet. Whatever. So you can't have it. And so then went off on her. So it's not fair. She can have one. And Mike's house can have it and all that type of stuff. And the boy said, well, maybe it's a learning experience. I mean, she did like to learn. Sometimes she can't have everything she wants. And a few minutes later, she came down there and said, you just trying to kill my child. You were like, screaming at my wife. And I, I wasn't there, but I said, I mean, but I tell you, I guess that she's, she didn't know what to do with And so he said, you actually think I would try to hurt one of your children? And she said, you just trying to kill my child. And she said, well, I think you just need to go and leave. And she said, well, I'm not coming back. That was the second visit. Her daddy came up to come get her. And for the rest of that, four or five weeks, and that was the part of the second week, the next four weeks. No contact with her. She had two grandkids, one of those two grandkids. They were 30 miles away. And we planned on going down to the beach with them and everything else. And they took out at my daughter's house and everything. All that got blown out. And when we did go to the beach, we were at North of the Beach, and they were at North of the Beach, five miles apart, still didn't see them. And I said, well, yeah, okay, that's good. And one, 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 I mean, there's a little scenario, but it's like the same time we're going on. Well, my, my mother's in a rehab center. She's like 93 years old. You know, and then then went up there and see her on her birthday, and we went to have a birthday party with her. And uh, when they got back from the beach, I think it was on a Monday, they went to see her. And Chris told me, said that when come he wanted he wanted to come see us before we left because he hadn't seen us all the week in and down there. Mm -hmm. Didn't with them. So I went to pick them up and at the rehab center where my mother's staying at and saying that all the while he left, they left them there for me to pick up. So you know, out in the house, had a couple beers, got some steaks and stuff. My daughter came over and my son in law, my other grandkids come over and stuff. And about eight thirty, nine o'clock. I said, well, you know, just like this text her, just uh, bring it back in the morning, you know, it's too late for me when all that I got something piled out. He texted her, no, no, you know, I'm just like, no, I'm going to get your ass right now. You need to stay in there. So, 9.30, 10 o'clock at night, I had to take him back to Southern Pines. 
because she the man that asked me my practice, she, she said, I need the help getting stuff ready to go back on the trip. Mm -hmm. And this is the only thing I've heard that thought of mine. What are you going to do that night that you can't do the next morning when a flight don't leave at 7 o'clock that night? The next night. <laughs> One, so I, the question I was just going to ask was that, so when she went back to her parents' house, mm -hmm. did Chris stay with you guys? Or did he go with her back to that? No, the, the, only, time, the only time Chris was down there was uh, for last, last week. Oh, so, so this was prior to that? Yeah, prior to last yeah, week. That was yeah. the last week. But um, last week we said, well, we, we, we lost our son again because the whole time that when that last thing happened, we didn't have no contact with either one of them for, for the next, what, three, four weeks, whatever it was, until he came down. And then when he came down, did they come visit again at your house? No, 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 no she wouldn't come back. She wouldn't come back. No, she'll let the kids come out. And, and did Chris stay with you guys for that week? Mm -hmm. Or he, he went there? He went to stay with her parents. Okay. So that's what she wanted. Yeah. So it's, it, you think that she has a controlling personality? Very, very controlling. Okay. My wife says she's like a narcissist and something else she called him. She's got to get him a double name when she uses him there. Okay. But that's what she says, you know, narcissist personality, what she said. Okay. She says, she says, sometimes I'll be too bipolar. He says, I'm too to go from zero to 100 in two seconds. I mean, it's totally. Would you say she's volatile? Or she's, she can get angry quickly? Well, I have never seen that side of her. But I've never seen that in my life. And that's what my wife said. She was screaming at her. Screaming at her. And said, uh, you kind of kill my dad. And I was sitting like that. And I said, you actually believe that? <laughs> Mm -hmm. I mean, you see the videos of us. I don't see how she loves the kids. I mean, she never do that for one kid. Did you ever see her and Chris fight? They ever mm -hmm. yelling and screaming at each other? Or, no. Yeah, was all that yeah. so, uh, okay. And then they visited her place time. And that's the first time they've been out in North Carolina in years. Come up here and I'll let you for us come up here and all them come out here. Sure. Sure. <laughs> any any indication of violence between them? Anybody that she ever hit him? Did he ever hit her? Any kind of anywhere it got physical? I never known Chris be pissed about all the size when he played football back when he was in the Pee Wee League. He was a middle linebacker by the end of the Yeah. Okay. And then, um, so when he comes and he visits, he winds up staying up with them. And you guys don't see each other for that, for that last week, but do you see Chris? This is just about last night before we left. Last night. Okay. Uh, does, he, does he come with the kids or just by himself? By himself. By himself. She went with the kids. Well, that's when they said they went to see my mother, which is in a rehab center, which is like seven, eight miles from my house. Mm -hmm. And she uh, said he wanted to see us. He was really mad. But he got to see us for that time. Mm -hmm. and now he's holding it down there. Gotcha. Gotcha. So then do they fly back to Colorado together? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe you think that's around the ninth or the tenth, something like that. Somewhere in the middle, because she flew out. I think he had went back to work on that Wednesday and Thursday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I think she flew out on Friday, if I'm mistaken. Okay. And come back we that Monday, like uh, one to about one, I think, when her flight came back. Okay. And then when they come back here, you think she's here for a day or two, and then she goes on that trip to Arizona? Yeah. Okay. And she didn't take the kids with her on that trip. Right. right. No, she's not. She'll never take the kids with her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, so, was, uh, so Chris, you working. Is, is there a babysitter for somebody else? You have been there in the front of the daycare? Daycare. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, like you said, he, I don't know, she takes them there about 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning. He picks them up on the way home from work. So she really don't have much of that. Okay. So she, so he drop. Uh, I'm sorry. She drops them off, and then he typically picks them up, picks them up on his way home. Okay. I guess probably sometimes she picks them up too. I reckon, but uh, most times I think he picks them up. Okay. I'm not saying that's the way to routine it all the time. I just like that. Yeah. I just that's basically how it works. <laughs> sure. And we're trying to go over every detail of everything that they do and just see what the routine is. So mm -hmm. you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she. And then. Um, you know what hours he works typically? At the, uh, I don't think he said, you know, he goes in about 5, 5 30 in the morning. I think it was a And most times, we, when we FaceTime at a, our house, it's between 6, 7, so it's around 5 something. He gets all my things. Wow. Mm -hmm. so he's working on this. Yeah. Okay. Late between 4 or 4 or 5 is, I mean, size yet. Is that day one? 
It may not be earlier than that, but um, that's the one we try to we always try to FaceTime them by the time it's they deep in there. That's when the kids are sitting there going through something like this. Okay. And so when, when they got back and then she, from the time they got back to Colorado, mm-hmm. did you speak to him at all during that time? Or or did you speak to him that first time on Monday? What do you call him to say? I want to go to I'm on the phone, but I probably recently I probably didn't log. Yeah, it could be text um, messages, phone call. I'm pretty sure I did because he had, he had told us before he left that baby did come over and he said, Yeah, it is. He said, It's not working. He said, I don't love her anymore. I'm sure it's just not there. He said, He does the kids to death. He said, He just, he was just done with her. So he, he, he knew that by the time he was about to leave. To go yeah, to her. Her. she knew it too. She knew it too. He was the only one who about it. So had they, had they, had they, had they had the guns that he said, they were going to, he said, it was a Colorado 50-50 state or whatever, and as far as husband and wife, he said, and by the same, he said, she was the one that put the house on the market already. Mm-hmm. So was, it, was the house for sale? Uh, probably he said he was going to go ahead and sell it. I think he said, you know, if one of you wanted to go ahead and get a separation from the house up for sale. Okay. And I don't know who told me that they were, well, because Chris said they want to take them to sell it, the house market out here anyway. Um, I don't remember who told me that, that she went ahead and put it on the market. Okay. Well, well, we don't focus on that time. I don't know if I was working stuff, he ain't got time to watch it. <laughs> 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 well, we will we'll figure that out. Mm-hmm. But, uh, so, they, so they pretty much, and so she knew too. She wanted it more as well, and the separation was that, but they, I don't know how that was working. But that takes us, when she sent the picture of the sonogram, mm-hmm. and that was. About the same time, Chris told her, you know, it's a, you know it's a work. and that's when she was trying to get back in our lives. Come to make a promise that she's done, I guess, over the years, whatever. I'm like, okay. like that was a, a reach out to us more or less. Well, I look back, trying to make everything all hunky dory now again. Maybe she was thinking maybe Chris would change his mind or something or whatever. And she was talking about it or whatever. I don't know what her point behind that was. But, uh, that's when I'm pretty sure that's where that text came from when he told him that he wanted a separation. And then what was the date on that again? The text? It was. Well, that's what I'm trying to find, but the date's not on there. Oh, it says it on Thursday. Um, I think that was when they got back to Colorado. Because he had such a little sound man when she got back to Colorado. I thought it was going to do it. Let's see, so that would have been last Saturday, last Thursday. Last Thursday, the 8th? I think. I don't think so. No, okay, today's the 15th. Yeah, we were about the 8th. That's why I think she was trying to reach out when the sheriff saw any picture of the baby. Mm-hmm. I can talk to you in five weeks now, or so, six weeks now, all of a sudden you want to talk? Mm-hmm. All right. So, and then had, had he decided, had Chris decided, you know, 100%, was it something like where he was saying, I'm well, thinking about it, I'm going to I don't think so, because you know, maybe for much made up his mind. The tough situation, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't working, he didn't see it getting any better. Okay. And then has has um, has she ever you know disappeared before? Has she ever like said I'm taking the kids and going to a friend's house or or um, you know said I'm gonna go stay at my friend's house by myself for the night? You were aware of anything like that? I'm not aware of it. Okay. Okay. And then how about him? Has it ever got bad where he's like, yeah, I'm just gonna go spend the night someplace else, or I gotta get away from you guys, you know, go to a hotel? I'm not aware of it. Nothing like that. Okay. All right. So they've never had a situation in the house where one of them had to leave. Um, not that I'm aware of. <laughs> okay. And then, uh, as far as the police, have you ever, ever mentioned, Christopher mentioned the police coming to the house, domestic violence, any kind of. Nothing. Right, so it's never gotten that bad. Mm-hmm. It's, but they just, you know, for whatever reason, they didn't love her anymore. They didn't love her anymore. Okay. It just wasn't working. 
Oh, like a thing about the new baby here. So, my wife's kind of lazy. She was in pregnant, so you might just have to you know, tough it out and you know, go have a baby and help out with that. So, but, like I said, she said it was his idea. He said uh, it totally was her idea on another child. And then, any, um, you know, anything on, on either side where, um, you know, they're they're fighting about how that would work. You know, if they do separate, who's going to stay in the house? Who's going to have to move out? Or you know, well, like I said, they, uh, they said that more or less, the fifty-fifty state doesn't want to sell the house, and more or less, they pay child support and do a separate life. And but I don't know, it's still up in the air about you know visitation and all that. They haven't even got that part yet. He was told. You want to go file for separation? I don't think what was it 90 days or not? What was it? I don't know. 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 I don't it wasn't going to work. He didn't see it. Was, it was going to be changing anything. And, it was back to, and he said, when he come down, when she was in North Carolina, when he come down, she said, Chris, will you change? He said, no. He said, I haven't changed. I just realized I'm just alone at the house. And you're there and you're not there. And I said, there's no difference. He said, that's more or less how you broke it down. Yeah. Okay. And then when he called you on Monday to let you know that something's wrong, you yeah. don't know where they are, the whole thing. So can you tell me about that? What was the what was he thinking at that time? What was he? Well no, he said no, he was he was upset, big time, upset. And he said he said no he said he I don't know what the hell's going on. He said he don't know if he's she took the kids and left, but he said the car's here. Their phones here. He said, another make me send others, make me damn sick. I don't know what the hell's going on. Unless he said somebody was going to pick her up. But uh, there's no evidence of nothing. But it, like I said, they left, left her car there and the phone and her, and her purse. You know, and so he said, another makes a bad thing. He said, all the doors were seen when he got there. He said, I guess the police had come for a wellness check or whatever. And he said, all the damn doors were locked. So he said, if she left, she left. On her own, mm-hmm. went out and door locked behind her. Well, door locked anyway, but still. And he didn't, he didn't mention anything about any, any you know, problem with the house or anything like that. There's nothing, there's a broken window. There was mm-hmm. nothing. Well, when he said, kicked the door. He said, he didn't see nothing. I guess when the police got there, they looked around too. They didn't see anything. Mm-hmm. But he said, when you know, he said, they, they were there. 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 They Mm-hmm. And everything, and he said he was a million good words. He said, well, "I'm gonna go stay with a friend." Mm-hmm. Also, she says she was gonna be. Yeah, she said she, 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 she told him, "I'm gonna go stay with a friend," but didn't say who. Didn't say who. Okay. But she just got back from that trip mm-hmm. with them two and Nicole and somebody else. I don't know what those names were. Okay. But that's what he told her. She told him that uh, she was gonna go stay with a friend. Any idea who that would be? Like uh, who's closest to her? Uh, I have no idea. She's got so many damn followers. I mean, she's got a lot of Facebook friends. Hundreds. <laughs> okay. Hundreds. Point. And a lot of them around here. And that girl that uh, did the wellness visits. That was one of them. They just got back from where it was Arizona or something. I think it was Arizona. They got the Lavelle thing. That was. I guess she lives around here somewhere because she's not seen her on the news broadcast for an interview in front of the house. Yes, mm-hmm. right. Oh, so she, did she, and she went on that, uh, that business for Carol's you know, with her? Do you know what it is? With that woman's name? Nicole or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 I don't know if you seen any news feeds or what, but she was one of them that was. Talk, talk to the press outside of Crystal House. Oh, yeah. yeah, and I actually haven't seen any of that stuff mm-hmm. yet. Uh, that's one of the things catch a fish. That's bump. <laughs> there you go. Mm-hmm. That's, that's her right there. Okay. That's uh, Nicole. There. That's Nicole. Yeah. Okay. We don't know her last name. Is that her last name? Yeah. Not my last Glasses. What's that last name? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> U-T-O-F-T. U-T-O-F-T. 
O-F-T. What the hell that name? Yeah, you told me. Yeah. Yeah. U-T-O-F-T. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's okay. So that's the friend she went on a trip with yeah. in Arizona. Well, there's she is. Well, there's a bunch of people there. Put it that way. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. Which one we already had. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm not sure which one we are yet or not, but we're trying to speak to everybody. Mm-hmm. So, um, how did that happen? Mm-hmm. Like, after the Text or just all phone calls? Uh, most of them was phone calls, and I told them 
it's probably when you got a chance to come people would phone up this phone and clean the plates and then the news crew out there and all that shit. And I said, How are you surviving? I'm like, Right. No, no, no. They got to be parked outside of the house, I'm sure. Okay. So you, you, you talked talk to several times, a bunch of times, yeah. between Monday and then, and, and then you flew in this morning. Yeah. And actually, what, what time did you get in today? Uh, I got here at about 9.15, 9.20 when I landed at the airport. Okay. And that's when your buddy called Chris and asked me to stop by here. We was on my way back from the airport. I went back. Okay. Did he come pick you up? I did. You didn't have to I wasn't going to get an Uber, but he texted me one, one, once I turned my phone back off, airplane mode, he texted me, said, if I'm going to land, I'm going to get it. So how do you see him on the ride? How's he doing? Is he hanging in there? Or? He's hanging in there, but he just stood up, yeah. under questions, well, what the hell was going on? on that. He said, he is. He said, I don't know if she done something. Like I asked him, I said, oh, they still building houses back in my head, you know, apartments, like, you know, where he lives at. And, uh, Last time I came out, I had to keep building, building, building behind him there. And I said, are they still doing construction work on He said, yeah. Mm-hmm. I said, you don't think of the construction building snatched, snatched her up or something? So I said, I'm just thinking about different scenarios. So I'm like, you know, that, well, that's what you got to do. Think about any possibility. Did, did, does he have is, 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 is <coughs> any idea? Is he anything that he brought to you saying, hey, maybe this happened? Or, you know, did, did he see anybody suspicious around the house? Did he, mm-hmm. did he have a confrontation with anybody? Mm-hmm. Any problem with a coworker? Because I, I guess he's a low key guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, no, I'm, I'm not, he's very calm, cool, blooded, and I like me. I'm like, hey, thanks a lot for getting me pissed off. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let him do it. Yeah. So, he, okay, so he's not a guy who's getting into confrontation. Mm-hmm. He's not that much. He's not, he didn't mention any enemies or anything, anybody who's got a beef with him or. Or uh, you know, any reason why somebody would want to get at him or get at the family or nothing? So no threats, no, no, okay, no problems. And yeah. for, for what? Not that thing here. No. <laughs> you know, not that thing here. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I'm a scribble guy, so yeah. I just scribble all of the this, but I have it up here. Uh, yeah. I remember. <laughs> I think I've already, I've tried to have a pretty good memory, but I'm um, been in the parts business for. Every some years, so the numbers and everything else came up for me. That's what we were saying. And this is a, this is a general interview. You know, yeah, I'm just yeah, trying to get a baseline. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. You never know what can help. Yeah, because yeah. If everybody remembers a little something. Yeah. Know. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I mean, I love grandbabies to death. I love her too. But well, when well, we got along good, you know, for a few days each time, it seemed like there's always something come up that it's like she just, she's just, she's all about what she wants. When she wants it, and I kind of put her down about the like that. I just, I just like her personality is. Well, and, and for us, that's important yeah. to know who we're dealing with, yeah. right? If we're looking for somebody, what they might have done, where they might have gone. Mm-hmm. Is there anything? Do you think, from from your knowledge of her, do you think she's the type of person who hurt herself or hurt her children? I would say the kids, no, no. Might only come down to herself. But I don't know. I don't know. To them kids, I don't think she would. I know I profiled her. She's not doing a whole lot with the kids, but she loves the kids. So I just like this love with her. I love the kids. My wife, everybody loves them. Mm-hmm. But as far as her going something to herself, I wouldn't say yeah or nay. I mean, you never know what somebody is mad. Any any health problems? Either physical or mental. Uh, my, to my knowledge, she had spoken about lupus years ago, but that's more or less under control. I and mean, she had to have some something on her spine done not too long ago. So, uh, you know, not sure what that is. Uh, no, some deterioration of some uh, vertebrae or something. She had to get done not too long ago. Okay. Any mental issue? You, you're aware of where we're going to psychiatrists, psychologists, mm-hmm. and, uh, any kind of. No, no, I was told about my <laughs> Any counseling that you were aware of? They were two of them ever tried to get counseling to work out. Some things I tell dad, sometimes I don't. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's true. I know I don't tell my parents everything. <laughs> but, uh, uh, And anything else you can think of that might be uh, useful? Is any, any any friends that they ever talked about, or any 
um, you know, anybody who they interact with. I mean, you know, they, they, she got a bunch of friends for that way. And they would have these little bells, parties and meetings sometimes at their house and stuff. But Chris would have some of his friends. I mean, I can say he stayed with friends of his last night. He didn't like going back to the house and all the stuff going on over there and stuff. So he stayed with him last night. And with those, you know, so his, his closest friends, or I mean, who, who would be? I don't really know how, what his closest friends around here are, but I ain't really met much many of them when we come down. Most of the time when we come down, we go out to the zoo and stuff like this, and all kind of everything else around here, and splash pads and stuff like that. We don't really met his friends that much. That was him. Did he, did he, is Chris, because I know she's got thousands of friends on oh, Facebook, but right. does Chris have a, is she on Facebook? Does he do that? He was. Right. He, he was just recently deleted. Put a little bit of his tire here and all post about negligence. So. <laughs> okay. And is he a social guy? Does he have a lot of friends? Or no, he has, I'm not that man. He has a few. I'm like, he just all made it. I like, I don't know. I'm like, I'm like, they take me out as I am. <laughs> but he's not a big social media guy or, you know, friends and parties and I don't know all that. But like, uh, when she was gone, you know, like you said, he went to the drag races here in town, NHRA, I don't know what you ain't went to in the years. Like, him, he's got races all the time, like when he was young and stuff. I think NASCAR races, drag races and stuff. And he's done that in years and did that. He said, I missed that. I missed that. I missed that. I missed that. Yeah. So he probably got some some uh, break, yeah. you know, just being by himself. Yeah. And, and, and then a couple of couple buddies from work went out there on that drag race on that one Saturday. I might know. Okay. Yeah. Oh, was, it, was that this Saturday? No, it was that. That was last week. Okay. Yeah. And then no, nobody else you can think of. I mean, he didn't ever say to your dad, this, this, this guy at work is, you know, pain in the neck, mm-hmm. or, mm-hmm. or this neighbor of mine, you know, does strange stuff, or, or, none of them, none of them, just say something about the baby dog on the other man. Okay. And then at the construction, I want to ask you again about that. So mm-hmm. there's construction going on behind the house. Yeah. You kind of, did you see anybody like, no, I don't know, I just brought that up to him on the way back from the airport. Oh, you brought, okay. okay. He, he didn't mention it. He didn't mention it. I mentioned that to him. I said, they still don't know. Like all around people want they come little crews come and go, you got electricians over here, plumbers over here, workers over here, and they got they work two or three jobs and poof they're gone. Yeah. So so they here. Yeah. So I, I just I, I said I just I'm just throwing that out there. I said I don't I don't think about it in different scenarios what could happen. So I just I said they just throw that out there and said the keys might be in the backyard and mm-hmm. I mean there's plenty of people around there but depending on what time they was stuff too, so Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but so nothing's nothing suspicious though. I'm not that you get everywhere. Okay. Yeah, and obviously Chris is, you know, they're, they're, they're talking to him, you know. But we're talking, we're talking to everybody, you know, mm-hmm. you know maybe anybody saw anything suspicious, hopefully yeah. that'll come off. But, okay. Um, but I did mention something, Chris mentioned something to me that they, uh, on the way back that there was a that is the credit thing on one of her credit cards for that same day they got back for a taxi or a limo. Mm-hmm. So she did call the bank to an initial transactions. And when she used a credit card for a taxi or a limo on that same day. On Monday? On Monday. Huh? Do you know what time it was? I don't know. That's what I was trying to find out. I said, you know what time it was or anything? Mm-hmm. He says, no. He said, it was just a transaction. He, he thought y'all might have been doing that already. Yeah, and they, they probably they they like, but we, we had so many people working on this. That yeah. I, I, I said, well, that's a uh, limo. All the girls took back. I think there's three girls around here. And I said, was that limo the girls took back from the airport? You go back home. And I said, there's three different people through the places. And then on the the news broadcast one day, she said she brought she ran home between one and two o'clock. One when she brought her off. And who's that? The Nicole. 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 That's yeah, what that's what the news broadcast said. So so Nicole went with her to to Arizona. Yeah. So Nicole must have parked the car or something. Yeah, but so I was asked this guy said, Yeah, Nicole's car was at the airport. So I said, Well, mm-hmm. I don't think the car at the airport wasn't even a damn taxi or a limo taxi. Yeah. So but uh, and did, does he think that's what the charge was? Is that they uh, they took a taxi home from well, that's the what, airport? That's what he said. Well, he did not. He you know, even on time was all of a transaction for either a taxi or a limo taxi mm-hmm. for that date, but he didn't know what time it was or anything else. Okay. And they couldn't tell him if the taxi came you know, what uh, time. I, I don't know. I was on the credit card. Right. We'll, we'll find out. Yeah. 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 Just thought I'd throw that there. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
And then he got in a car and it went somewhere else. So we know that. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. 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 And he did, did he mention anything about any neighbors or anything? Any neighbors? Because I'm assuming he probably talked to his neighbors. Yeah, well, yeah. Hey, what do you want? Yeah. But I don't know how to win the show. Yeah, well, for sure. <laughs> yeah, well, but they didn't see anything or hear anything uh, or not. My mom, like I said, they didn't have to say nothing. But it would have been a long time ago. It was, you know, great. Bobby was going to work and stuff and everything else. So. Okay. Anything else you can think of? Any, uh, mm-hmm. like, well, it's just, Chris, any, any, uh, does he have any brothers, sisters? Yeah, he has a sister. Are they close at all? Would he be reaching out? They're kind of close to me. They, they, they talk about that here recently. That's my daughter, Amy. Jen? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She lives in Portland, it's about 20 miles, 30 miles from now. They don't count. Yeah. Okay. Just in case we need to reach out to her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's in uh, Good Morning America called her yesterday. Who did? Good Morning America called uh, my daughter yesterday. Oh, I wonder what Andy found James says, excuse yeah. me, yeah. I'm not. <laughs> That's the thing, the news will be all over this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They are on national news. Yeah. Anytime somebody goes missing, it's yeah. just, yeah. Okay. And then, um, is there any relatives of yours here in Colorado? Well, Chris was at there's no cousins, there's no distant relatives, nothing, you know. <laughs> and you know if uh if uh, I was gonna say around say Shannon, but it's Shan Shan Shannon Shannon. Yeah, you're yeah, used to that. Yeah. So Shannon. Do you know if she has any relatives here? Not my not, not my knowledge, not no there's some like whenever he has moved out here, got some friends of hers moved out here or something. I don't remember exactly the reason they moved out here to begin with, but and then the person was out there, he went up for a bigger ship, and she was working a couple of jobs, hot jobs and stuff. No, they don't mess the second house they had. They can have another house before they got that one. Second house? Yeah. And if I have memory serves right now, I could be wrong. <laughs> okay. And you know why uh, they moved to Frederick? Any, any particular reason? Is it close to work? Or what's that? I'm not sure how far this is. Um, Work is from here uh, because when he was um, working at the Ford leadership, he was working in town where he was working at. The one that's the Ford leadership out here was another one, uh, Longmont. Longmont? Longmont, that's where he lived every day. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty close community. Yeah. yeah. But there was nothing special about Frederick. It wasn't like uh, yeah, they had home. some friend here or some no. Not relative. No. no. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I can't think of anything else, I mean, unless, unless there's something else that pops up that you, you mm-hmm. think of that might be useful. Yeah. I mean, they're gonna, you, know, we're, you know what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to search everything and find yeah. everybody. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, and obviously the whole country is aware of it. It's not yeah. something more. But, uh, but yeah, we'll do everything we can mm-hmm. and uh, you know, see where things lead us. Yeah. So, um, if you do think of anything else, let us know. I'm going to be so so we're sort of a uh, joint team of okay. investigators here. We have. Uh, of course, wherever PD, we have state CBI, mm-hmm. uh, FBI, so we have mm-hmm. FBI as well. Mm-hmm. So we have a whole group of investigators who are working on this. Mm-hmm. And we will be until we resolve it. There's going to be an answer for somewhere. <laughs> well, that's, <laughs> it. that's it. I mean, but yeah. well, I hate to say that my life was a lot, a lot of body discovery. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, my life too. <laughs> and she, uh, and she did, I said, no, you're not going to. I think you're too much of a you. You'll have them come a lot about these covers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a tough situation. Yeah, with mm-hmm. these things, you can't make any assumptions. Mm-hmm. You just got not anything. Yeah. You can yeah. just everything in black and white. You know? Right. Yeah. Well, I'm, I got a feeling, Chris, he'll probably be here for a while because mm-hmm. talking to him is going to be from the day he was born. Mm-hmm. Or, so it's probably going to be a long day for you. Mm-hmm. I apologize in mm-hmm. advance. Okay. But we got to get every single detail we can. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, we'll be at this. Yeah, round o'clock. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know what can make you most comfortable. Um, you have you you have this vehicle. Yeah, you have access to that if you need yeah. it. Yeah. You have yeah. keys. Okay. And then obviously, you know, I don't know how much there is to do with Frederick, mm-hmm. or if you want to eat lunch, mm-hmm. or whatever you want to do. I can walk up out the street find something. Yeah. That's what I say. I'm sure. I just want to plug my phone box and start this up. Okay. You want to be around? You want to be around? I will be in. Yeah. I have a mark. Mark. Yeah. And that one, that's Chris's best friend from way back when. They were the most. 
Easy to remember. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, Graham here too. One of us will try to keep in touch with you. Again, we got a room full of investigators. Mm -hmm. We have all sorts of people out on the road, mm -hmm. you know, running down when you speaking to people. Mm -hmm. I mean, as you can imagine. Right. I know you also you all had leads. I know you can't say nothing. Well, I know that. To be honest, perfectly honest with you, I didn't pull it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't even know about this until mm -hmm. early this morning. Uh -oh. So basically, we call in bodies. I mean, yeah. if we need to, we can call in a hundred more investigators. Yeah. So we call in everybody who we you know need. So I got a phone call this morning saying, "Come down to Prairie PD." Mm -hmm. So I'm behind the curve mm -hmm. as far as what's going on. Get up. Talk to you here. You walked in. Hey, I can talk to you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. We, we get the information, we're going to let you know. Okay. You're right here at the police department. So, uh, 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 yeah, so just if you want to make yourself as comfortable as you can, I don't want to get some water and stuff here. But those are the things you need to do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. uh, that, that would be a first. That would be a slight problem. That's not one. What the hell? Slight thing. Slight thing. Slight thing. Slight thing. Slight thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, they moved to 
Charlotte a little while, a couple of years, and then they decided to move out here for some reason. They have no relatives, no nothing out there. So there's no ties out here? Just some friends she had that was out here. Okay, so when was that? So we got married in Charlotte. Let's see, what, three, four years ago? Probably. Okay. And then they moved here after getting married in Charlotte? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did they do when they first got here? Uh, well, in Charlotte, he went to NASCAR tag. That's when he left home when he was 18. He went back to high school. He went to NASCAR tag and stuff. And then they met, and uh, he was working at a Ford dealership up there. Mm -hmm. What she was doing at the time, I really couldn't tell you right then. But then they moved out here. He went to work at a Ford dealership as a technician. Mm -hmm. He got hired on in the oil fields. Mm -hmm. And she was working odd jobs off and on doing different things. And actually, when he was working at Longmont Ford, down the road here, he was, uh, she, goes, she was selling cars in there at the same time. Mm -hmm. They both had the same place, but she was, she was a good salesman. Yeah. She was about that. She was, Did they have any money issues? Not to my knowledge. They never talked about anything like that? I don't know. He said, you know, he said he, they didn't, didn't leave that big ass house they was in because they didn't leave all that stuff. But I think she was doing that, selling that fly, LaBelle stuff, whatever. So that's what made, you know, I, mean, I knew he made pretty good money in the oil field stuff. I said, I think she's like top 30 or 35 in the company. Mm -hmm. so I said, well, he says she's going up pretty, pretty much making what he was making. Like. Ah. So, you know, that was over the last couple of years. I mean, she, she had built up many. Like I said, she's, she's a seller. Yeah, she was a seller. Now, how much contact did you have with them? Did you see them? A couple, a couple times a year because you know, we'd fly up here to see the grandkids and stuff. Mm -hmm. and, uh, my wife from here, you know, when uh, Cece was born, and help with that and stuff. And they were down, what she, they came to, she came to North Carolina like six weeks ago, six seven weeks ago, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then he was coming the last week of the, the vacation thing. Mm -hmm. And her and my wife had fallen out twice. So the her parents live about 30, 40 miles from us. Okay. So they Where do they live at? Uh, Aberdeen, sometimes. Mm. Right around Pine Horse, Golf Horse. Mm. Mm. Uh, she was just hard to get along with her. She, she was there with us for a few days and stayed with her for a few days and stuff. And so I bought a trampoline for the kids to open up the pool and all this stuff and the TV and everything. So they have, you know, things to play with and everything while they were there. Mm -hmm. And, First time she came over, I mean, I got home three or four days on the, on the, on the last day. The, uh, she told her that morning, she said, Well, I have to go get my hair done. My next one neighbor and I get some flyers for him and stuff and come by where I work at. It's a super dealership. Mm -hmm. She says, Hey, we're on the car with mine. Mm -hmm. And she said, We're going to take you back home now. Well, you know, wait this afternoon. No, let's wait this afternoon. Mm -hmm. And she said, Okay, so. So we got a hair done and stuff, we got flyers to show them my place and we lost our phone with the hairdresser. Mm -hmm. So my daughter had done the same place, so she uh, went to get it and bring it up to my work. And by that time she texted me, I didn't know where she sent me that, my wife, that's my perfect surname. And so she's got here signed signing paperwork, she said, well I've been here five hours with these kids by myself. You know, she was in a very good kid, she knows. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and she, she wanted us to have a wife in tears in the finance office. Mm -hmm. Fussing at her because she wasn't there. You know, take care of kids. So. Yeah. So she went up going home that night. Her daddy came got her. She was all pissed off about that. And the press called her and said, My wife asked her, What are you going to do, Chris? She said, Just, just let her go. I mean, she said, You don't want to hear about her. She said, I'm good. And then the second time she came to see us, uh, CC had nut allergies. Before she came to any type of tree nuts. So mm -hmm. what it is. And I got two other grandkids, Dalton and Dylan, live there, you know, about 20 miles from us. They're 10 and 7, and CC and Bella are 4 and 3. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they're all there playing together, had fun in the pool and stuff, all this stuff. And, you know. My other grandchild went there and gets some ice cream up, they mm -hmm. And which ice cream had been in there all week, up at a higher level, which some of them had nuts in it, so we need to keep it up there. And there's one of those single serving things type deal. Yeah. And my other granddaughter got one. And Cece started crying and stuff. And she went all off on all her saying, it wasn't fair that one can have it, that one can have a type deal, and all this type of stuff. And she went stomping off. And I went there, she went, you're just trying to kill my child. 
told to my wife she was going to kill the child. Mm-hmm. And it's, my wife said, said Sven, do you really think I'm going to try to hurt one of your children and take me off stuff? And she ended up leaving and not coming back for the next four weeks. And then ended up coming back with her, mm-hmm. kept the grandkids, and nothing else. Okay. And that was, what, five or six weeks ago. Mm-hmm. I did. Well, she was just, like my son was telling me, he said she uh, has these mood swings and stuff, and she just said she don't, I don't realize how unstable she was. Who said that? My son did. What did she say that? That was one of the years, probably last, you know, a few days ago, whatever. Yeah, that's, that's the place she is. She just bipolar. And, you know, zero sixteen. No time. Mm-hmm. And when did you first start hearing about that? Well, I've, I've seen that before, just like that, with the ice cream deal, and it shows fine, and all of a sudden, come back screaming at my wife, mm-hmm. just trying to kill my child and stuff like that. Yeah. So, I mean, just a little thing like that, really nothing. And that's true. So, well, then with that in mind, how was how was their relationship, in your opinion? Uh, well, my son told me a few weeks ago, he said, said he just didn't love her anymore. Mm-hmm. And he told her that he wanted to go. But he was going to tell her he wanted to do the separation when she did that before they come back from the beach this last time. Mm-hmm. When I was down there, we was at Myrtle Beach, they was at North Myrtle Beach, five miles apart, still thinks of kids. Yeah. That deal. When I was a kid. When did he tell you that he didn't know very well? Said a few weeks ago? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He well, he, he said he should have done this a long time ago, but he said that this wasn't working. And just like her being pregnant, she said it was all Christmas about the being pregnant. And, you know, did Chris want another child? No, well, he always wanted a son, but you know. Did they know the gender? Not yet. Sure. No. Well, she was sent me a sonogram in four weeks. Then was <coughs> down here, right after Chris, seeing me, what did she say? Picture. That was around right before they went back to uh, Colorado, went back up here and that way. So the picture of Sonic Man, she just wanted to share a new picture of the a new baby. And we hadn't talked to her in four weeks. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, boom, sends a picture of Sonic Man. Wish they had done when he got back here. <coughs> Did Chris mention anything about his uh, his girlfriend? No. Not to him back. No. Mm-hmm. no clue. What, was, what can you tell us about Chris just as a person, you know, growing up and mm-hmm. you raising him? And I mean, he was, well, as I least to it, always through school and everything. He loved sports and everything. He played football and baseball all the way through junior high and part of high school and stuff. And mm-hmm. He was a one kind of child, really. I mean, never had a problem at all, no nothing. Not a problem with drugs, no nothing. Mm-hmm. Did he have. Did you give any signs of like mental health issues? No. Was he ever out? Was he ever depressed? Was he ever medications for anything like that? Not to my knowledge, no. Did you ever get the impression that he was maybe depressed or anything like that? And should be on meds? Or was he no. not? Then, so pretty, pretty healthy? Yeah, he was one of like out of mental health, healthy health. Well, but that's another thing. She, way back when they first got together, her ex husband or whoever she was married to before was kind of big. Bulky type dude. And she more or less wanted to just to look like him. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what the purpose behind that was. I have no clue what era, but I mean, she went from one extreme to the next. And that's when she wanted to lose weight and get thin, skinny like that. Just, she was kind of out there in the get Chris had mentioned to uh, Graham, I believe, that he had lost a lot of weight recently. Yeah, because he was looking at them and they FaceTime with him a lot and stuff until it was in the last month or so, whatever. And he'd be out and running, and they're running and lifting weights and stuff. Mom, he even went back when he used to lift weights all the time when he was in school mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And he was pretty well cut by then. Did he mm-hmm. mention anything to you about how he was feeling? Like, is he feeling happy? Is he feeling better about himself? Is he more well, confident? Was he doing it mm-hmm. for any particular reason? I figured it was something she was going in. Want them to get fit for that prior stuff. Finally, they just pushed out a new thing of weight loss patches and stuff. So I figured he was just doing that to satisfy her to uh, mm-hmm. for their images because she was all about images. Um, mm-hmm. You don't think he wanted to be putting all that time and effort towards getting shape and so forth? 
you know, but he, he always liked to stay in shape. But from day one, I remember back in the, you know, he was like seven, eight years old, he was playing the, we up the tackle football. And had a weight limit, had to weigh in for every game. Mm-hmm. First game, it was five pounds over. So then he come home with a dress bag on, you know, tripping him. <laughs> and never missed weight again. Well, that type of person is, I mean, he's, he's dedicated, you know, do whatever it takes. There's a little, little post that was I seen on Facebook the other day. That was all these dangerous stuff that was all shit, I think. There's one day last week or this week, which I think most of our stuff's blocked now, as far as on her stuff. Bella and Susie had these bottles down about this tall one, about three, four foot tall, whatever. We got what like, the name of where it's Anna, one of them frozen people, whatever I deal. Mm-hmm. And had it laying on one of the couches with a sheet over it from the head to the toe, mm-hmm. saying that the girls did that. And I, I've been around enough and played with them enough up there and FaceTime with them. They'd, they'd get the babies out and lay them on the, lay them on the floor, put a pillow on there and cover them up. It was about a waste of time. They had to cover their heads up, you know, like those dead person type deal. Yeah. I saw the photo that you were in your so I said, I didn't want that. <laughs> With Chris, mm-hmm. you guys had gone in there for a little bit, talked, mm-hmm. uh, and it was recording. Yeah. I, I don't think we missed, but this, this should also be oh, yeah. recorded, which I need to practice the entirety. But um, he mentioned that he saw her doing some stuff to get so, and he shot. Well, he said, well, this, he had, uh, well, they had an argument or discussion or whatever that morning, and he's go ahead and leave the work. He uh, went downstairs and I guess getting stuff to lunch together, whatever and stuff, and he got some commotion upstairs, I mean, they might not come out of it, and he had a baby monitor sitting on the, uh, this time it was on the bar, right there in the kitchen. And he looked at it, and he seen some man on top of CC choking her. That's one. Yeah, that's one. He ran back upstairs and lost it. By the time we got up here, she was blue. And she was still on. That's when he said he grabbed her, threw her off of him, and started. He did the same thing to her. Is, do you know Chris to have, uh, I wouldn't necessarily call that a mean streak, but uh, an no. ability to snap like that? Does that seem unusual for him? I'm very unusual. Okay. Uh, I've never seen him get pissed off about anything. Well, he's he's pretty much laid back like I am, and makes a lot of get me just off. Same kind of deal with him. Do you think, uh. Well, he's a little bit of a chill in death. And obviously, we, we can never put ourselves on that sh- yeah, those shoes. I know. No, no. I see that going on when your child and mm-hmm. their dad, and both, both your children, they. Do you think, if you were in that situation, do you think you would have tried calling 911? Well, it says she's already purple or blue or whatever. I mean, and that's hard to say what goes through somebody's mind when something like that when you're sitting there looking at your ch- children like that. I mean, hindsight 2020, of course. Right. But in the heat in the moment, when that's going on, it's clear it was already dead. What else is that? Not gonna be, you, you can say it gets decisions from day one. As far as what you do, I do, anybody else does, as far as stuff like that, it's hard to say. So when you were talking to him, just you and him, he mentioned that he saw her on the baby monitor on the, in the kitchen? Yeah, no, sir. Yeah. Okay. So when he was talking to, to the detective later on? I think, I think I'm presuming he was in the kitchen. I don't know. I know they got one downstairs. I don't know one upstairs. I don't know if I know they got one downstairs. Okay. So when he was, when he was talking to the detective a little later on, said he was... His story changed, mm-hmm. and it was he was upstairs, and that's when the shot on the baby monitor. Uh, and, and his story has actually changed three, three almost four times as to what actually transpired. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Do you think it was possible that he could have harmed the two girls? No, no, no. no. I don't know how much he cared about them. I mean, he took care of them 24 7. Every time we were down there, he was doing everything, giving the baths, taking the 
ya matar a un vehículo y se lo tenga dos. Were you there when he told the detectives where to find the two girls? Yeah. No. Oh, no. Did you, were you there when he said exactly where? No. Mm-hmm. Okay. He told me what they left the room the other time. So he said that uh, the big tanks, the big oil tanks there, mm-hmm. and he put the girls in one of the tanks. Yeah. And he told me that. Uh, he had told you that when you were talking? Yeah. No, it was in between when uh, Graham and Daly come in there when they left, you know, they just he was telling me that that one. Did he mention why he put them in the tanks versus burying them? No, he didn't. No, that time he didn't. What else did he, did he tell you about? Him? That was about it. He said he ruined his life, he ruined my life, my wife, his sister, everybody. He said, I don't think he wish he would have done was call the police then instead of doing what he did in the forest, you know. Which that makes sense because he didn't hate the moment with everything going on. I guess he must be the. It's very easy for us all to sit here Monday morning quarterback and mm-hmm. that's not what well, we're trying to do. Yes. Yeah. Just, mm-hmm. just trying to understand from your standpoint, you know better than anybody. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you think was going through his mind that? But probably no one would believe him. Exactly. No, that's, what, that's what I would think. That no one would think. Everybody would think he, he killed all three of them. Which I don't think that's possible. Why not? From my person, I know he is from day one. I don't, I don't think he's got an end to do that. I mean, what he ended up doing to her, I could see that. It's he both his children laying there dead by her hand. And then just losing it and so on. Had he said he'd never seen him angry before, he'd never seen him mad? No, well, besides by the sportsman. <laughs> 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 I never seen him mad. Cheap shot? Yeah, yeah. I've never seen him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I've never seen him. about anything, though. Call. How, did, how did you first become aware that this situation was going on? Getting a lot of money. 
Like the missing. Mm -hmm. He called me that, uh, was it Monday night? Monday night, what did he say? He said something terrible was going on. He said, uh, Shanae, the girls are missing. You know, they know where they are and, and all that stuff going on. What, what do you remember him telling you about you know, when they were last seen and any, any of that kind of stuff? Like they said, the original story, you know, they said that he, he left with the work and mm -hmm. the girl had come and checked on her. Uh, well, let's call them over and check whatever it was. Right. And couldn't find them, find them in the house or nothing. Their car was there, the keys were there, the phone was there. Mm -hmm. That's what he told him. That's what he tells him. Yeah. And what does she think happened? Well, uh, what does she think happened to Shanann in the kitchen? I don't know. She just went off on one of her little things again, just getting back at him. No, what did he tell you? What did he think it was going on? He didn't know. He thought she just left. He thought she left. Yeah, yeah. left with somebody else or something. Did he have any theories on who that was or <coughs> how they would have left when he was talking to you on the phone? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what happens yesterday? Did you talk to him on the phone yesterday? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was telling me about the uh, you know, search of the house, all this interrogation, all this type of stuff. And I said, well, I'm going to come on up and just be there with you. Okay. Like that. Did he tell me anything new about what was going on or if anything had been found out or anything like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And when did you make the arrangements to come out here today? Mm, last night. Okay. So last night you booked a flight? Oh, yeah. We got that flight just happening about 6, 6, 30. I'm going to work. I'm going to book a flight and come out this morning. Okay. Well, well um, he picked you up from the airport. Okay. What did you guys talk about in the car, right? Did you guys come straight here from the airport? Mm -hmm. Straight here because that's so when my grandma called him. Mm -hmm. Right after he picked me up, he said, he'd come out here. So that's when he comes straight here. Okay. And what did he tell you on the way here? Just what was going on about the cadaver dogs, and they was at the house in with the black lights, you know, looking for blood and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Mexican, that and the interrogation last night and stuff, wherever you went. Yeah, well, what is he telling you about where he thinks your nan and the kids are on the right here from the airport? Um, he really didn't mention that. He just was, you know, saying he was be bound or whatever. That's what I was saying anyway. Mm -hmm. What was he saying? Same type thing. When was the first time you found out that, that he killed Shanann? When they asked me to come out there, that's when to talk to me. Okay, so he didn't tell you that at any point before that or anything? No, I had no clue where that was going. Okay. When was the first time you found out that he said that Shanann killed the kids? When I was about there with him. Okay, so you didn't confide that into you before today that you right. witnessed her doing this awful thing or anything like that? No. Okay. He didn't maintain the entire time that he thought somebody picked, yeah. picked him up at that right? Yeah, or before she left on her own with somebody else. Yeah. Okay. okay. I heard he had mentioned that he, was a, he wished you had, he had told you sooner when you guys were in there. I mean, you, 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 and I think that he wished he would have told you sooner about this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like well, you said, I remember he said he wished he would have did all this a long time ago as far as you know, breaking it off and everything. I don't want to talk about that. I don't think that's what he's talking about then. I mean, he said that to me before. I think he should have done this a long time ago before I get a separation. What was his demeanor like when he called to let you know that he said something terrible that happened? He was, he was told about uh, yeah. it. And this was Monday? Mm, yeah. Two days ago. He came with a day straight here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The time travel. All the way around together. He ain't got no sleep a couple of days either. So he was also telling some concerned friends not to call the police. That there was nothing to be concerned about, nothing to be worried about, that you probably just talk to somebody else. And, uh, mm -hmm. That seems to be somewhat in conflict with his uh, demeanor when speaking with you. Mm -hmm. And thoughts on that uh, as to why you would be saying one thing to you and saying something else to, to friends? That mm -hmm. I have no idea. Uh, demeanor like in the car. Oh boy, he was um, concerned. Well, he was physically and mentally exhausted, probably. You know, thing of course. You know, what's going on? Like I said, that was the last thing that was on my mind. What's going on now? When I was coming over here this morning. Did he seem to be concerned about all three of them? Was he more concerned about kids or all three of them? Even though he wasn't, he, he wanted to separate from Shanann. Yeah, but he, he thought we were talking about that. I said, well, do you want to uh, move back?
about the North Carolina's and my you know, stay out here. You know, like the job and everything here, and I'm going to go here. It's making good money out of it. It's making that kind of money, you know, about air return of riches and I'm. What did the, did the baby cause an issue with potentially leaving? Like, did you just. Nah, I don't think that had anything to do with it. He wasn't well, allowed like to share me about it. If it did, if it did, if it did he never mentioned it to me about it, no. Nah. Yeah. Mm. Have you discussed names or anything with her? Mm. Yeah, I don't think I've had any idea what to do. Did you seem excited at all? Yeah, and he said it was. He seemed kind of excited, but it went both ways. She said he wanted it, he said she wanted it, you know, type deal, so. Were well, you guys excited that another grandkid on the way? Yeah. Yeah. Was the one in five, and I got two. Provide to us about 
know why you think something like this happened. You know, I don't know what you already told us, obviously. Yeah. No, 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 they went like said she removed slings and everything else, and then I don't know, she just went off that morning, but I think nothing that he, that he told her a few days before that, you know, he wanted to get a separation and stuff, sell the house and stuff. And actually, she had only sent an email to the realtor about selling the house, and which Chris said he called him to confirm it and stuff. With yeah. Him. And she, she wanted that new one was coming. And then, I guess, Monday morning, she was. Off and I guess you thought it was going to go away or they were parsing a counselor or try to you know, change or something. But they, yeah. Uh, it's a violent way to Did you mention, and this, I know we don't have time questions about it, but when, did you mention at all that when she came home from her trip, you know, obviously she's pregnant, so she's probably not drunk, but mm-hmm. did she know like she was in? A bipolar mood at all? Did it seem like she was on any drugs? Did it seem? Mm-hmm. Did he mention anything to you about um, what, 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 what she, she was with her body? Yeah, and it was late when she got home. Yeah. Something like that. Mm-hmm. He said he wasn't a drug user. Mm-hmm. Did you ever become aware that they had possible plans to go for a weekend getaway this weekend or anything like that? Mm-hmm. You never told them about mm-hmm. that. That asked us about what she did. And they had a thing that was coming up in October, I think it was, to go to one of these resort things from the bell. And, you know, she told them, we don't like no tag period, y'all have to come out here and watch the kids. Mm-hmm. I did once when she was down and working on it. Hey, what's tag period? And you ask somebody, you don't say, you yeah. don't come out here and do it. Yeah. And then she fly out here and do this with she. Yeah. Of course, we didn't have a problem at the time with all that stuff. Listen. And vacation time left, we still do it. Yeah. Well, I don't think I have anything else to ask. And this is something you know. You think we should we should know that we haven't asked. I'm not thinking about that. Is it my brain's not much too? Hot. Yeah, I think I think we're all probably in that place. Appreciate you uh, sitting down and taking the time to chat with us. I'm probably need to call my wife back, check on her, make sure she. Oh, we're going to take her to the house. Yeah. Okay. How is she taking it? Very good. Yeah. Okay, man. I'm going to take a look at the other house she does. Uh, uh, I don't know how to get some time. I'm going to watch her now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.